Morning, Tyler. How are you? Hi there, John. How are you doing today? Happy Thursday. <laughs> very, very good. Listen, uh, exciting week this last week. We had some uh, we had some really good uh, scoring. A lot of it in the C flight finals. A couple of those finals went down. Uh, there was one uh, one uh, team final. One uh, team got forty points. The other one got forty three, which is just incredible. And then you have then you have the other way happening. But first, Tyler. Let's yes. review last week how we did here. Um, where are we? The team playoffs, team playoffs, right here. Here we go. Uh, let's go to the eight team finals. You had predicted uh, the eight nine game, uh, team Jones versus team Pat Fitzgerald. Now, uh, very close game, they're both tied with 37 points, but in uh, men's league. The team with the higher seed, team number eight in this case, uh, Team Jones, moves ahead. So you were correct on that one. We'll give, mm -hmm. you, give you a one on that. In the B team, uh, B finals, we had uh, Team 8 versus Team 9. You went with Grandpa on this one, and uh, uh, Lauren Fitzgerald just eked out a win over uh, Team Cutler, 30, 38 over 37. Uh, don't blame me on that prediction, and it turned out to be a good one. They're a good team. Uh, they they uh, they are solid. So uh, Lauren Fitzgerald moves on. And in the C team finals, okay, this was a bit of a mismatch. You took uh, Team Beggs over Team Riddell because you thought the uh, the players from Team Beggs would show up more. Uh, team team Riddell, they were having trouble getting out. Ironically. Um, that backfired spectacularly uh, as only one person showed up for Team Beggs and got 22 points, by the way. And Team Riddell got 39, which is a good, good score. Uh, and they have moved on. So that is last week. Now this is this week. And mm -hmm. I've given you the following uh, names. In the A team finals, we have Team 33, Chanette. Very strong, good playing team. You got Dancy, Mustard, Chanette, Lalonde, and Wiley versus uh, one of the toughest teams in the league. They're in the A finals every year. They've been to the final match every year, uh, not every year, but one year, and they're always seem to hang around. Mark Balsamo, Neil Card, Tony Charbonneau, Dave McDonald, and Wayne Shimada. So it is the uh, retirees versus the young guns uh, and young good guns. Who you got? Yeah, no, well, thanks, John. And you know what? This is not an easy pick at all. Um, these are uh, two teams that I see out here regularly. So we're, we're not banking on just participation. We're banking on experience. We're banking on what are their handicaps. Um, I'm going to have to go with uh, the Young Guns here. So we're doing Team Chanette first match. Okay, so you've got uh, Team Chanette moving on in that one. Is that correct? That's right. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> in uh, round two, uh, another veteran team, former champions of this thing, Team 18, <laughs> Team Shillington, very veteran team. Versus mm -hmm. Team 43, Team Jardine. And they, they won last year. I can't remember what division, but they did win one. I think it might have been the C division. And mm -hmm. they're another uh, team that knows how to win. So uh, who have you got between Team 18, Team Shillington, William Gift, John Goodman, Kyle Reed, Dave Shillington, Lyle Sides, versus Kevin Jardine, Mike LeBlanc, Pat Moran, Fraser Smith, and Ron Warwick. You know what, um, I, this is another, again, I, I guess it must be the playoffs because these are not easy and these are two... Uh, Two competitive teams. Um, I will go with experience on this. I will go with uh, age over beauty. Uh, team Shillington will uh, take the win on on uh, this match here. Okay. All right. Well, that's uh, that's as good a guess as any. I mean, you know, setting you up here, Tyler. You, the predictions are always tough. You never know. But uh, they they will show up. I know these guys will show up, and I know most of these guys will show up. Mm -hmm. Although mm -hmm. this week only three players on Team Jardine showed up and they still won, so you yeah. know that happens. Team Thirty One, Team Watson, uh, was Jacob Fleming, Michael Gosselin, Archie McKellar, Ken Watson, David Woodhouse versus Team Thirty Five, Team Chambers, Tony uh, Burkett, Greg Chambers, Ken Cheeseman, Dana Mulvihill, and Mark Norman. Uh, 
both these teams normally play. I know Team Chambers out there every week. Um, who, do you, who do you think is going to win this one? Well, this one here, uh, John, we're going to have to go down on the um, uh, Team 35, uh, Greg Chambers uh, team here. And, and, and I'm, I'm looking at these guys here, and, and you know, I just have a really good feeling these guys are going to come out hot next week. Uh, you know, a lot of good things are riding right now, and, and uh, my money is going on, on Chambers all the way. Okay, so you've got Team Chambers winning that one. Well, I, I, again, a tough, tough one to pick, and uh, they both show up. You never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have the flight final set, um, the A flight finals, uh, which starts at four twenty-seven uh, p.m. These are younger people, so except for uh, well, Jeff, you're young at heart. Okay, so it's Rob Mustard uh, with a plus two handicap, so he's got to give two strokes to everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul Stevenson, zero. So he'll get two from Robert. Uh, John McDonald actually gets a stroke from Robert. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jeff Hall, who gets who is uh, handicapped four, so he'll get two more strokes there. This is a uh, intersectional type event. Uh, they're playing against a match against each other, except there's uh, strokes involved. Uh, wow, I don't know who to pick here. Uh, Rob, is, uh, Rob is hot. He can shoot a 30. Uh, John McDonald can shoot 30s in the low 30s. Paul's been playing well. And Jeff has come on like gangbusters. He came up from B to, to get into this uh, A flight final. I, I'm sure he's anxious about that. <laughs> so what do we got here? With the club captain and uh, Rob Mustard and tough one to pick. But yeah, John, Tyler, you're, you're the predictor. You put me in a, a no-win situation because whoever I predict, I'm going to be upsetting the other golfers. Um, no, for this one, I'm going with Mustard. Um, he's um, he's experienced enough. He's solid. He'll he'll go out there and probably shoot a a, a good low number uh, in this match. And um, I'm not going with Rob. Okay, Rob Mustard. Eh, well, that's a that's a tough one. That, uh, yeah, and Rob Rob can do that. Um, in the B flight finals, we have a, a slight change. Lyle Sides uh, had to back out, and so mm -hmm. Steve Aerosmith will take his place. Mm -hmm. So we got Robert Weiss, uh, Steve Aerosmith, who's got a handicap of six, by the way. Jeff Cordes at 3.75. He's moved up a lot. I mean, his, his handicap jumped this week. He had a good round. And uh, Dave Shelton at 4.47. They're actually an A This if it was, went on another week. But mm -hmm. uh, th their handicaps jumped up. Um, well, what have yep. we got for B? A ton of a tough one. Another one. This time, I, I, I feel we're going we're gonna to split the difference. So we're not going to go with the low capper or the high. We're going to go right in the middle. We're going to pick Dave Shillington to win this match. He's a tough competitor, and uh, and uh, uh, that's a pretty good guess. Uh, yeah. Of course, don't forget was uh, the uh, B champion for all of Ottawa last year, so he can play in these competitions too. But he's got to mm -hmm. give up strokes, so we'll yeah. see what, how that works out. Uh, C flight finals: We got Michael Lipinski, Chris Kelly, Phil Byrne, and Ray Jones. Yeah, so this one, I've been doing a lot of thought, uh, John. Um, you know, Phil just came off winning that putting contest with the uh, the Nick Doe a few uh, few weeks ago. Um, Phil's games come a long way, and I have a feeling he's going to carry that momentum. Uh, his last few games have been pretty good. He's going to win that match there, Phil Byrne. Good for him. Good, good, good. That's a, that would be a, a nice win for Phil, but uh, I'll tell you, he's got some tough competition there. Uh, and, he, and he's got to give up strokes to Chris Kelly and to Ray Jones. So we'll see mm -hmm. what happens. Uh, D flight finals, Joseph Maria, our uh, rookie phenom, who's in second place overall. Jeff Gifford, Dave Nicholson, and Dan Kerville, who got in uh, uh, just under the wire. I think there was uh, Martin Jackson couldn't make it. So Danny, uh, Danny got the, his first alternate got in. Danny's getting strokes from all of them. Uh, Joseph Maria, a rookie phenom, is in there at, at 10.25. And Dave Nicholson, always tough in these things. So you got you got some tough uh, tough choice here. No, and this is, a, this is another tough one. They're very close in handicaps. Um, but I was watching on the range yesterday. I was watching Joseph hit his uh, warm-up shots. And he was hitting everything crisp and pure. So you know what? Going off the swing that I saw yesterday, if he can bring that to his game next week. I, I have a feeling Joseph's going to win his matches. Oh, you're uh, you're a wonderful predictor, sir. That's uh, that is uh, 
tough thing to do, Tyler, and you're a good sport for doing it because uh, you're going to get razzed by the other guys if uh, if, the, if you're wrong. <laughs> but if you're right, <laughs> right, that's right. Yeah. Very good. Anyway, wonderful. Uh, that thank you very much for that, and uh, we're we'll see how it works out next week. Hopefully, we'll get good weather. If there is a uh, if it rains and we have to postpone the flight championships will be delayed one week uh, as will the team uh, uh, the team uh, playoffs we delay it one week we may have to have uh, the team playoffs and sometimes we use the men's clothes as the final for because uh, it's just a point thing uh, to calculate the the for both but hopefully we'll have good weather and uh, uh, we'll be able to get 130 players. The way we decide whether it's official or not, 130 players have to complete a round. If they complete a round, the round's official. If less than that uh, don't complete, then then it's an unofficial round. We'll count the scores, of course, but uh, any other competitions or scores or anything like that, they're out the window. Uh, they 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 uh, they don't count. So uh, no prizes are awarded. Although we do give out skins on that day because it, we fought so few in each category. So so let's hope. Uh, that uh, we have good weather and uh, we had a beautiful Wednesday yesterday and hopefully it'll work out again. Anyway, Tyler, anything else to say? No, nope. just good luck to all the matches, all the competitors out there. I know the season's winding down for men's league, only, only a few short weeks left and um, it's pretty exciting. I know a lot of chatter out there. Everyone's kind of seeing who's going to prevail this year for, for the league. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's coming down to the wire too. So in a lot of categories. Thanks, yeah. Tyler. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, John. All right, talk to you later.